should you buy Bitcoin during this diff? Um, in that, uh, it seems like a it's an interview with Fox Business. Pompliano explained that Bitcoin dips are actually buying opportunities for savvy investors. Uh, Pompliano emphasized that every great investor knows that they should buy more when prices move against them. He further claimed that anyone questioning whether or not they should be a buy more during this BTC dip, they actually not know what they own. This is because Bitcoin has the potential to grow in value over time. Uh, Pompliano noted that retail and institutional investors are beginning to realize that Bitcoin is a resilient asset that will be worth more in the next 5 to 10 years than it is now. He also pointed out that BTC has matured compared to previous market cycles while still achieving impressive growth. Uh, he mentioned that Bitcoin experienced several 30% and 25% price corrections in the 2017 and 2021 bull runs. Uh, however, things have improved in this market cycle with the flagship crypto only experiencing uh, uh, price drawdowns of about 15%. Pompliano believes that uh, this shows that BTC's volatility is dampening. Uh, uh, Pompliano also highlighted that Bitcoin now has spot Bitcoin ETS in this market cycle, which was lacking in the previous bull runs. Uh, he believes these funds will be a major catalyst for Bitcoin's run heading toward year end. However, he warned that BTC may no longer appreciate as high or as fast as he used to now that institutions are invested in the flagship crypto through the whole spot Bitcoin ETFs. He again remarked that this is because the entrance of these institutional investors has dampened Bitcoin's volatility. Uh, what about Ethereum? Uh, and Pompliano also gave his thoughts on the spot Ethereum ETFs. And when they could begin trading, he stated that these funds will likely start trading sometime this summer. And it added that they could begin trading sooner rather than later, based on rumors that the Securities and Exchange Commission is close to approving these funds. He believes that Ethereum has a problem that BTC doesn't and suggests that this could negatively impact the amount of inflows that the spot Ethereum ETFs attracts, according to Pompliano. Bitcoin has a single narrative as it is known as a store of value, which he believes has been enough to convince investors to invest in the flagship and crypto. On the other hand, he said that Ethereum has many narratives which creates a confusing story for the second largest crypto token by market cap. He noted that this could be a big problem for the spot Ethereum ETFs since institutional investors could easily be confused by what Ethereum is about and opt against investing in these funds. Uh, with that said, thanks for watching and until next time, remember, always do your own research and never invest more and you can afford to lose.